Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 40. Wow, can you guys believe that I have really made 40 of these tutorials and we're going to be approaching 50 in the next few days so that's actually quite exciting. Uh, definitely something to celebra celebrate about in the 50th tutorial. Um, but anyways, for now, uh, in this video I actually just want to explain a topic called variable scope. So whenever you guys are programming in pretty much any programming language, you are going to hear about something called a global variable and then something called a local variable. Now these variables pretty much have their own scope of where they are allowed to be used and where they uh, can be used actually. So for example, let's say I had a function, so I'm just going to make a function here and we'll call it scoper and uh, I'll declare a variable in here called value and we'll set that equal to 800. Okay, now because this variable is stored within our function or created within our function, that means that this variable is a local variable, meaning that it is local to this function. Okay, so if we go ahead and we try use uh, that variable outside the function, so let me just echo out uh, value, then you'll notice we're probably going to get an error. So let's go back to Firefox here, click refresh, undefined variable. Uh, and that's pretty weird because we did actually define this variable over there in our function. So let's go ahead and maybe call the function. So go ahead and call scoper and then see what happens. Uh, so let's go back here and save and click refresh and still undefined variable. Uh, and like I said that's because this variable is local to this function scoper. So that means that we can only use the variable inside the function. So whenever we're trying to print out value over here the computer doesn't know what value is. In fact, uh, whenever you create a variable inside a function, this variable doesn't even exist until the function is called and it, this, func this variable will only exist while the computer is running the code inside of the function. So uh, whenever you create a function and there's a variable inside of it, this variable only exists while the code's running that function and as soon as that function ends or as soon as the computer is finished working with this function then all of the variables that were declared in that function cease to exist so they they're no longer there for the computer to use and that's why the computer didn't know what uh, value was down here uh, if I maybe just push control Z and get that back so that's why the computer didn't know uh, why that value or what this value is but now if I go ahead and I take this echo statement and I actually echo out the value inside the function obviously this will work because we we declared a local variable here and we're using that local variable uh, inside of the function so we're keeping everything obviously local so that should work. Now let's talk about global functions okay uh, I mean global variable sorry and a global variable is basically any variable that you declare outside of a function in your code. So let's say I declared a variable over here and I'll also I'll call this one value as well and we'll set this equal to 4. Okay? This means that this variable is a global variable. So if we ever try and use this um, value inside of our function you'll probably notice that we're not going to get uh, 4 printed out. So let's let's go back, let's save this, okay, and go back to our browser and click refresh. Uh, and as you can see we still have 800 echoed out. So even though we have a variable over here called value and a variable over here called value, um, these two variables actually have uh, their own scope. So this one was global and this one was local but the function obviously preferred uh, to use the local variable 
when it had to echo out value. Uh, in fact, if I go back here, down here, and then I echo out, uh, we'll echo out uh, global, so global uh, value is, and we'll leave space there, just append on value, and inside the function we'll echo out uh, function, ooh, got to put my string thingies, function value is that and we'll append on value and uh, we're probably just going to have to append on a break tag as well don't forget the quotation marks because it's a string break okay cool so now if I go back and save this you'll see that oh what did I do wrong okay uh, I forgot to append on the value with uh, a full stop or a comma or something Okay, so let's go back here and click refresh. And you can see that we've got function value was 800 and the global value is uh, 4. So we're still using the local value in our function. Okay. So this means if you ever want to use a global value in your function, um, then you have to type in the keyword global and then you'll put in your variable name uh, whichever the uh, global variable uh, was now I'm just gonna take that equal to 800 out so that we do not change uh, the value of our global variable and now uh, what our program is doing is we've declared a variable over here called for um, called value and it's, e it's set equal to 4 okay and we're making use of that global variable inside of our, our function by using the keyword global and then we're echoing that uh, global variable out here and we're echoing that global variable out over here so now we should get the same value for both of the variables function value is 4 and global vari value is 4 I'm getting uh, very tongue-tied at the moment, I don't know why. But, yeah. Okay, so that's how you make use of a global variable inside a function. And I've already shown you guys in the previous tutorial how to pass a local variable from a function uh, back to a global variable. So if you go back and watch the previous tutorial, then you'll know how to uh, take a local variable in a function and send it out to a global variable and um, the last thing I want to mention to you guys just uh, before we end this video is creating variables inside of a function uh, so obviously creating local variables inside a function is obviously more efficient because it'll take up less memory space on the computer okay so that's because the variables will only be stored in memory while the functions running and while the when the function finishes running or ends running uh, then you've got all that space in memory back to use again and if you were uh, creating a global variable then all of those uh, variables would have to stay stuck in memory uh, and it would probably slow down the computer if you had quite a lot of those uh, global variables so obviously it's up to you as a programmer to decide which variables you really need to be global and then uh, which variables can, uh, don't really matter if they're local or global or not. Okay, so it's a good, obviously good programming practice to try keep as many of your variables local. And uh, that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.